Welcome to Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have Nicole Casper, and this is her historical society hat. She's the acting president, but she is also the co-author of a brand new book, uh, Brockton Tragedy at Moosehead Lake. Okay, now I know a lot about Brockton history, but not that. So talk about it. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for being here. You've been on before to talk mm -hmm. archives at Stonehill and yeah. Stan Bowman collection, but this is different. This was very different for me. So I have um, I co-authored the book with Jim Benson, who sadly passed away um, last week. But this story is one that's kind of forgotten in Brockton's history. It happened in 1928, and it was actually just it's the 90th anniversary um, of the tragedy. It happened on May 13th, 1928, and 10 Brocktonians were going on their annual two-week fishing trip up to Moosehead Lake, Maine. They were waiting, it had been postponed for a couple of weeks because they were waiting for the ice to come off Moosehead Lake. Once the, they got the call, which was called ice out, when the ice was officially off the lake, they left, they got the call on that Saturday the 12th. They got in their cars the next morning and drove up to Moosehead Lake, got met up with their guide, Sam Budden, on the Mac 2, and headed up about, it was about 20, 26 miles up to their fishing camp. And about six miles from the camp, um, the boat sprung a leak and went down. And sadly, all but one person of the 11, including the guide, only one survived. And that was Captain Lays of the police department. And these were very prominent Brocktonians. Um, so it ha included the former mayor, Harry, H Harry Howard, who had served around 1911, 1912. It included um, the fire chief. Chief Daly. It included, um, as I said, um, James Lays, who was the police captain. It included uh, Fred Dahlberg, who was, a lot of people in Brockton might recognize the name Dahlberg of Dahlberg Funeral Homes. He was actually a relative. He, it was his father's business, um, mm -hmm. the Dahlbergs. And he actually was serving as a um, highway commissioner at the time. There were two physicians, David Bridgewood and uh, Peterson was all, Dr. Peterson, uh, Dr. Mulberg, who was a dentist in the Campello section. Um, so these were all men that um, people would know. And um, so it was a great loss. And it was 1928, so they got the word. When Captain Lay survived, he, um, he was actually found the next morning. He was able to get to shore. He was suffering from hypothermia. He found an abandoned cabin, passed out in the cabin, was able to, um, woke up the next morning and let everybody know. So Brockton then got the word and mm. then, but it was very sketchy um, of who had survived. If anybody had survived, they didn't know other than Captain Lays. And so the idea for this book was always Jim Benson's and I really want that to be known. Mm -hmm. um, he had a, a cabin up near Moosehead Lake um, that he would go to and he really wanted the story of this to be told and so this book chronicles who what Brockton was in 1928 who these men were what happened and then the aftermath it took almost 40 days for all of the bodies to be recovered and that was a it was a big um, both Brockton and the state of Maine to try to recover these bodies so Oh, I'm going to have to tell my son that it was May 13th. That's his birthday. <laughs> it's, it, it, was it Friday the 13th? My son loves when his birthday is no, on Friday the 13th. it was actually Mother's Day. Yeah. Um, and it was, it's Mother's Day again um, this, this year, year. Right. for the 90th. But it was actually Mother's Day that they left on Mother's Day. So He was born on Mother's Day. Really? Yeah. A, a, long, uh, a, a while ago already. Um, I think it's fascinating. Um, I, you know, I know a lot about Brockton history, but not everything. And, and Jim... Had a lot of it up there. We'd never, even though, how many books did he do? It's, this would be Jim's ninth book. He okay. did six in, by himself, and then he co authored two with me and one with Lloyd Thompson, the right. Swedes, Sweet. of, Swedes of Greater Brockton. And I saw Lloyd Thompson over at the, the mm -hmm. Wake. Um, sad about Jim, but I know, we all know Jim would want this to go mm -hmm. on. So you're having an event on May 5th over at the Historical Society to debut the book premiere the book, do a, a book talk, and have people come over and just see what we have over there to offer. Yep, so the society actually, um, we're in a little bit of uh, 
adjustment period as we're going through. Um, we've kind of reset our displays and we decided to launch the book. The book is actually going on sale May 7th, but it'll be available um, at the launch on May 5th at 11 a.m. We are having a memorial dedication to the nine um, people who died and the lone survivor, Captain Lays, and we'll be unveiling a memorial to them for the 90th anniversary. Um, we will be doing um, also a memorial um, and a remembrance of Jim Benson at, as well. And afterwards, they'll, we're inviting the public to come in and see our new exhibits, maybe buy a book, see some things. We've reset our Rocky exhibit, which is, looks really good. Mm -hmm. um, Sign up to be a member. Yes, we have memberships. Um, if you sign up to be a member, you'll actually um, get a discount on a book. And if you're a family member, you will actually get a fr one of Jim's books free, one of his either Brockton or Brockton Revisited, if you sign up as a lifetime member. So um, we'll be having some deals where um, our face, I hope people like our Facebook page, which is the Brockton Historical Society Facebook page. All the information about the event will be going up on that um, tomorrow. And um, you know, we're we're looking forward to doing this and doing some future more programming at the society and this will be kind of the start start of that. Well, looking forward to it. My problem is I have a union meeting that day, but we're <laughs> gonna record it, but we don't want to tell anyone we're recording it. We want them to go. Yes. It's great to see it on TV mm -hmm. and we're gonna keep it for posterity mm -hmm. because it's part of the history of Brockton. That's sort of what mm -hmm. we do too. Um, but it's a wonderful place. The displays look really nice. You guys did yeah. a nice job. We're the, you know, a big collection of Rocky Marciano mm -hmm. memorabilia. We have uh, Mayor's original first desk down on the first yeah. floor, Ziba Keith. Um, there's Edison stuff over there. There's the, uh, we have the shoe, the shoes, some of which are with us, some of which are over at Stonehill. Mm -hmm. We have the Fire Museum, which is top notch. Ken Galligan and Eddie Williams, and, and, and it's all part of the same complex. Yeah, there's so much to see and so much Brockton history. Um, We've reset the display, so if you've been there before, you'll probably look and you'll be like, I've never seen this. We've got stuff about the streetcar, when Brockton had a streetcar. I'm not sure how many people actually re know that St Brockton had its own streetcar um, line, so we have pictures of that. We have a display on, um, we have some celebrity shoes with different president's shoes out. We talk about the history of two of the biggest um, shoe factories, um, including the Keith factory and also um, the Douglas factory. Douglas was actually governor of Massachusetts right. in the early 1900s. So there's so much to see. We hope people will come out, become members, and continue to enjoy Brockton history. And we have a new website, correct? They gave it's, me the one-minute queue, so okay. just so you know. We do have a new website. It will be launching next week. It is Brockton Historical Society Inc. dot com. Okay, and we got the ink in there just because we're incorporated. We're incorporated, and we're, we're yes. We're refreshing it and making it new. And the Facebook page will be a, a, a good addition as well, mm -hmm. which we already have. And the but, Brockton, Society, Brockton Fire Museum also has their own Facebook page. So you can, we go back and forth, but also like the Brockton Fire Museum it's page. A, it's a great partnership. We're lucky to have the firefighters mm -hmm. involved. They, it, it's, it's a social thing and an educational thing, and it's great. So, Nicole, thank you for being here. I know it was on a sad day. It was Jim's funeral, mm -hmm. but in his memory, we're doing this. And disclaimer, I'm involved over there, too. So thanks, Nicole. <laughs> thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.